the Blaze Radio Network. On Demand. It's not just about good health, it's about good food. Hi, it's Doc Thompson for Minostalgia Foods and Wild Rice. Edible memories from Minnesota's Northwoods. Wild berries, jellies and syrups, pepper jams that me and my family love, whipped honeys, maple syrup, maple sugar, plus wild rice and wild rice mixes like pancake mix, soup mixes, waffle mix, and hot cereals. BlazeWildRice.com to see all of their products. It's BlazeWildRice.com because most people can't remember how to spell Minostalgia, myself included. Check out BlazeWildRice.com. WildRice.com. Uh, I just realized that an Indiana funeral home came up with a tremendous idea, mm-hmm. and that's they're going to start having uh, serving liquor. They got a liquor license for the funeral home. That's and not I a bad idea. No, it is not. Well, that's going to lead to some no, good stories, not. though. Well, it may lead to a few, <laughs> a few <laughs> fights, too, on top of those stories. So I would hope mm-hmm. that they put in some cameras. So we, gotta, oh, yeah. we have to have video oh, yeah. evidence of what's going on there, right? Yeah. Prepare for the YouTube onslaught. Right. <laughs> I mean, there's got to be new ways for funeral homes to make money. They've got to be losing money these days. I don't know why, except that it just seems like the funeral homes, although... What, did people stop dying? No, but, you know, things are really expensive. Oh, yeah, they I get you. Of, the two times in your life when you get it is when you're getting married and when you die. Those are the only two times no, you excuse get me, it. when you're born. I mean... I understand. Nobody quit dying, but no. But there's so many people who die that aren't spending the ten thousand dollars on the coffin. Oh, that people got smarter. The yeah. Why would you spend ten thousand dollars? I mean, no and more. I know they exist. Why Absolutely. would you spend that kind of money on uh, a box? You want your loved ones to be feel you feel like you're doing something right for your loved one who passed They're away. Dead. I, it's a body. I know, but when you're looking at when you're looking at your your mother, your my wife, dad fit in a box about yay big. He is a heartless bastard. <laughs> He's got it a is. point. What's the what's, what is the point? I mean, anybody spending that much money is more for you than for the dead. Not person. only do you put no, them in this I mean. nice, pretty box, then you stick the box in a hole and throw dirt on it, or you put it in a you know muscle. in a crypt. Yeah. yeah. And then seal it up so no one's ever going to see it again. Yeah. I don't get but it. But if they have to have an opportunity to pull it out, it's Right. Be, if you ever pull it out, you want Ooh. it to be, you want it to look nice. Yeah. Open that up. Mm-mm. <laughs> yeah. Where's the, it's fine. Whatever. Well, I don't need a bell. Moments passed. Stupid bell. <sighs> but this, uh, but, and then, uh, you know, the only way that they make money, right, is that and uh, if they have a crematorium. And then there's been plenty of uh, funeral homes that have... Uh, now it's gotten like, into a little bit of trouble over the crematorium. You can there's like discount in Nashville. There was a guy who would do it for like I think it was seven hundred bucks. You can cremate you. It was done. I mean, all you need is a match and a broom. So, I mean, that's not really true, but that sounds good. <laughs> he would do it, but it was like I mean, still that's a lot of money if you think about it. Seven hundred. You wait a minute. You're just gonna hand me back some box of ashes for? Yeah, well, some people bucks. want the ashes and to save the ashes. I'm going the, to be sprinkled in. Um, Oh, like you'll me. be wherever the hell we put you. <laughs> Trust me. Up on You're the shelf. dead. Does it matter? Uh, uh, or, does it? Have, or does or it? Or does it? At that point, a box of bones, some dust. All we are is dust in the wind. You're welcome. <laughs> Close my eyes. Classic Kansas, man. Thank you. It's not just about good health, it's about good food. Hi, it's Doc Thompson for Minostalgia Foods and Wild Rice. Edible memories from Minnesota's Northwoods. Wild berries, jellies and syrups, pepper jams that me and my family love, whipped honeys, maple syrup, maple sugar, plus wild rice and wild rice mixes like pancake mix, soup mixes, waffle mix and hot cereals. BlazeWildRice.com to see all of their products. It's BlazeWildRice.com because most people can't remember how to spell Minostalgia, myself included. Check out BlazeWildRice.com. WildRice.com. Knowledge is power. Tweet at us with the hashtag what I learned today. This is the Morning Blaze with Doc Thompson on the Blaze Radio Network.